Hello guys, this is Jitendra Chaurasia from the Office Guy Tutorial. Back again with a new tutorial on how to make Instagram ads in PowerPoint. So this is a part two video. In the part one video, we have seen how we can make an ad for an electrical appliance company. For this tutorial, we are going to see how we can make an ad for a pizza company. In fact, this ad can be taken to any food industry related to it. Just the only thing you need to do is change the figure before we move further if you are new to my channel i would highly recommend you to go and hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon i make a lot of tutorial where you can learn word excel and powerpoint very easily so without any further ado let's start the tutorial so this is the ad this is I would say this is a one ad which I have made and this is one another ad okay so you can see here this is one sample this is the second sample I have made I'll just quickly show you again so this is one which rotates like this and it makes two rotations and then it disappears the second is the pizza itself rotates and it stops so it rotates two time and it stops so today I'm going to show you how you can make these two very easily so to begin with I'll press ctrl N. the very first thing we need to do as mentioned in the previous tutorial in case you have missed that tutorial you can see the link in the i button on the top so now we need to first make sure that the dimensions should match with the instagram feed remember guys this tutorial is not for instagram stories this tutorial is for instagram feed where you post photos or videos now before we should go further make sure that your dimensions are correct for Instagram, the best dimensions are either 1 ratio 1 with 2 height ratio or 4 ratio 5 with 2 height ratio. So now these dimensions are 16 ratio 9. We need to change this ratio. I'll come to design. You can see an option called slide size and I will choose option called custom slide size. Click on that. Here we have another dialog box. Choose custom here and give it dimensions say width 40 and height sorry height 50 so you can see it's a 4 ratio 5 slide press ok you can choose any of the options so for now I'll go with maximize whatever is there I'll just delete or in fact what you can do you can come to layout and choose blank so you can choose any of the two to pick it with first we should see what all the elements are there in this so we have few this triangle elements here just to give it a young feeling and we have some text here and uh, this is another text box and this is one other text box and we have a bottom here which mentions the company name and the address other than this we have a background element which is the color of the background image now I just want to show you example that why I have chosen this color not some other color so just quickly see this example if you see if you compare these two this one and this one you can see this color it looks it, it gives you feeling of energy a bit while this color is a very dull color so whenever you're making ad you have to make sure that your color should match with the target population so I will choose this two color so just to take this fast I will take print screen I will take the color sample from here and I will paste it here I'll come to format background solid fill in the color options eyedropper and I'll just put an eyedropper to this color so here we got the background now very first thing we have to write this text here so take the text box drag it make sure you center it so you can see I have moved with the cursor and you can see it's centered other ways you just click it come to format align and make it align center now I'll click on this text box and I will just for to save the time I'll copy this text Control A Control C and Control V and I'll increase the size this looks fine to me I'll keep it a bit down just to give a bit of margin on the top so this looks fine to me if you want to increase a bit more I will just extend the text box and I'll give one more increment yeah this looks okay now the next 
element is order now so why i have given an another font to this because i want to differentiate between these two i want the audience to first catch this and then this if i give the save font to this so the font for this is called shink let us assume if i give this also a same font people will not be able to understand because i want to emphasize from the ad that you have to place a order so that's why i'll quickly press control z i'll copy this it's a simple text box so i just want to save time i want to spend more time on animation and press control v to paste it i'll increase the size here looks fine to me and similar way it's a rectangle so and these are simple text box here i'll copy these also i'll paste it here and i'll make sure that these things matches with this okay place it here looks fine increase the font size yeah so remember i have increased by two stops okay so yeah just let me verify once this is 28 i'll make sure that this also comes 28 okay i in fact i'll copy this also so in case you want to know which font is this this font name is called montserrat fine so you can see the font name is montserrat if you want to download this font the link is given in the description box it's free to download now coming up to our photo here i have downloaded a simple image from google which uh, relates to a pizza i will drag this photo now you can see i'll adjust the size of this pizza yeah looks fine to me now i just want to cut this pizza in a shape which means it should only the pizza part should be visible if i if i have to show here i want to show only the pizza part so for that we have a small trick here in powerpoint come to format crop crop to shape and choose the option called oval now come to crop and adjust the dimensions accordingly i'll zoom in so for zooming in either you can zoom from here or you can use control and scroll up and down so i'll adjust it a bit so that all pizza remains inside the boundary that looks good to me i'll click crop so here we can see with this small trick we have removed all the background related to this image now let us give animation to this the animation is pretty simple click on the photo come to animation under this drop box you will find spin looks good to me i'll come to animation paint double click on this now you have certain options here how much degree you want to spin let us assume you want to give it two rotations for that i'll be giving custom so 360 which means one rotation 360 multiplied by 2 becomes 720 degree i'll click 720 720 enter okay now you can see it's spinning two times but if you see carefully it's going way fast now for that what i will do i'll click on this duration and make it to let us assume 4 seconds now we'll see it's rotating now if you have to notice when i clicked here i need to click it to start the animation for that I'll click on again picture 11 it can be different for you picture 11 and I will make with previous so the moment you start the animation you will get this rotating and it will rotate for two times now the question comes why I am rotating this just because I want to if somebody is scrolling instagram I want him to see at least what is scrolling what or what is spinning there so that's why we are giving some sort of animation to this with to this slide now let us add some elements like this these are very simple elements come to insert shapes 
you can see some triangles here stretch this triangle and give some deformed shape and rotate them randomly control and drag your mouse or you can see control C and V to make duplicates just random reduce their size make them thin just to make uh, just to make them random and just adjust something like this so looks like little enjoy kind of feeling and give it a shape fill the same color which you have given to this so it relates like you have some sort of theme going around and make sure shape outline you give no outline now i'll select these three again press ctrl g to group press ctrl c to copy and ctrl v to paste i'll keep it here and i will rotate it so that it looks like it's a part somewhere here now we can see this animation is ready now we, i'm going to show how i made this animation this one so this animation is also very simple so i will duplicate this just to save the time now i'll remove the previous animation from this slide so animation pane in case you are not there you just click here and i will delete so right click and remove it now if i now if i play this you will see there is no animation what is the next step select this pizza photo come to format and you can see the size is 20.58 into 20.64 next step is come to insert shape and take a shape oval just drag it and give the same dimension to this oval so 20.58 and 20.68 adjust with this no problem if you can make little bit big also no problem it's actually good to make little bit bigger yeah that's all that's good select this circle and give the shape fill same as of background and since you can see there is a outline come to shape outline and make it no outline now i'll just quickly drag this circle this side because we cannot see on the same background i'll take one triangle i'll draw it here so what i am trying to do i am trying to make a slice so i will rotate it and i'll increase the size until it crosses the pizza so i am assuming this to be center not perfectly just roughly so i'll bring this here now a minus b okay make sure you select this first and then this and also make sure that it should cover all the part this looks good to me a minus b because to subtract you need to first select the a then minus b come to format merge shape and subtract now keep it here nice select this circle okay come to animation and choose spin here we go now i will select it again and come to animation pane and make it with previous now if i have to preview this slide you can see our animation is working well now you want this to disappear after making one rotation so add animation and add a fade now me make sure that you are in exit so add a fade and on click on the fade and just make it after previous so once the rotation finishes it will fade out now i'll preview it so one rotation is done and the pizza appears now you might be wondering how i can take this animation save this as a video and upload it to instagram i hope that you already know how to upload to instagram the only concern here is how to save this as a video for that let's assume you want only the first one okay so what i'll do i will right click here hide slide i'll come to file export create a video i will give a duration of 3 seconds create video and i'll give a name example 1 okay now i'll come here i will just see so you can see our video is saved here similar way you can save the other also for in that case you need to hide this and unhide this 
that's all guys for the today's tutorial i hope you like this tutorial i would really love if you give a thumbs up to this video and share this video if you feel it to be good and also subscribe to my channel for any video also to support thank you guys see you in the next video